People, things, excitement, enthusiasm. Free enterprise and action. That's an auction. And the Milton J. Warshaw Company, America's foremost auctioneer, invites you to come to the auction and see the action. First, let's go to the movies. The Hal Roach Studio in Culver City, California, was once known as the fun factory of Hollywood. Laurel and Hardy, Charlie Chase, and the Our Gang kids were only a few among many who made motion picture history here on this 14 and a half acre site. The movie business is an industry, and more than smiles, tears, beauty, and scenery is required to produce a finished product. The technical equipment alone covered more than five acres. Camera and electrical cables, lights, some very, very good, some just okay, and some only for antique collectors, heavy modern power generators and portables, film cutting and storage. But the Milton J. Warshaw Company recognizes that people make auctions, and better than 65,000 came to the Hal Roach auction. Let's see briefly why they came and what they saw as they learned how an auction works. The auction was well advertised and publicized in advance. On opening day, lines formed at the registration desk. Office registration, incidentally, is an administrative requirement. A large sign explaining the sales terms helped the novice bidders. As the crowds followed the signs toward the auctioneer's cart, the people checked the daily program schedules they had received upon entering. To keep the thousands of people informed, signs were posted throughout the studio outlining the daily schedule of merchandise to be auctioned. The crowds were full of amateur buyers and professionals, like A.J. Ostrovsky, a junk dealer who bid on and won this entire street. The old false front scenery plaques, antiques, lights, and other props, and equipment were valued at $5,000. The ladies had a time for themselves shopping and bidding on the thousands of yards of draperies, the carpets, rugs, office equipment, and supplies. Many stars bid on toys, bric-a-brac, pictures, antique steam engines. Some win, some lose. The happy winner and the face of a loser, Soupy Sales. All during the bidding, every sale of the auction is immediately recorded. Every inventory card is keyed. The administration of a large auction or a small one, be it a movie studio or a machine shop, must contain one prime ingredient, accuracy. And the Milton J. Warshow team, representing over 30 years of experience, assures accuracy, speed, and integrity with a little fun mixed in. It took the experience and knowledge of 28 employees, numbering and planning, and six weeks to catalog the thousands of items during this auction. The Hal Roach studio was practically a self-sufficient city within itself. Even the fire equipment, which looks much like something from a prop room, was functional. And like everything on the lot, it was sold. The sheet metal and machine shop, the woodworking shop, the factory for breakaway furniture, all received a mixture of real pro bidding and amateur yelling. On occasion, a soprano high C got the job done. It certainly did for this determined lady who bought the Our Gang fire engine for her girl. She owns, and they appear at, the Pink Pussycat nightclub in Hollywood. Notice, if you will, how Milton Warshaw feels it is his duty to help a customer on the way up. A large and interesting purchase from this cinema world of yesterday was actually one that was not shown, nor could it really have been. But it was sold by description, simple and nostalgic. It consisted of the complete still photo library, the scripts, and the musical scores of the Our Gang series, Charlie Chase and Laurel and Hardy. Believe it or not, there were over 30,000 still photos alone. We hate to admit it. 
But these thousands of people did not come out just to hear the sales-breaking chants of Milt, Roger, or Bert. Many of them came specifically for the toy sale. Fathers, mothers, kids, dogs, even musicians all wanted to bid. So to be fair, and who can resist a kid wanting a toy, all of the toys went for a dollar apiece. And for hours, the march of the toys was heard as they were taken outside the Hal Roach studio for the first time in their 35-year lives. Following the daily schedule is vital to the success of any auction, particularly a four-day project. Every item was sold on the day or night it was scheduled. With crowds like these, each day extended into the nighttime. The Worshow team, which includes catering wagons, security officers, publicity people, and cameramen, kept this auction moving at full tempo every auctioning minute, even as the sign says, through lunch. In fact, sell the walls, sell the windows, the buildings themselves, the floors, and the ceilings. Rock Hudson's autograph on this proxy bid made earlier in the day was tops, and the hewn beams from Hal Roach Sr.'s private office will continue to look down on the Hollywood scene, this time in Rock's Canyon home. The radio and television and newspaper media found a four-day source of interest, action, fun, and excitement. And for what is probably the last time, the familiar strains of Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy's theme music were played on the original pump organ by the man who played it as their music director for more than 20 years. The organ has found a new home now, for it was won, not bought, but won, as a door prize by a lucky couple in a crowning tribute to a world of yesteryear. With stately clocks, grand pianos, quaint school desks, and classic paintings coming to life as the sales pointer and the auctioneer's voice described their beauty, functions, and background, the Hal Roach Studio auction came to a close. Now the studio is ready for tomorrow. And tomorrow, Mr. Lipset takes over from Milton J. Warshaw, whose organization completed on schedule and above their estimate, the most widely attended auction in history. <laughs>